Hey folks, this is Kyle Vile coming at you with another video. And I don't have a particular subject, however, I want to talk a little bit about our anxiety, our perception, um, our mentality, our attitudes. And I think it definitely applies. I don't know where I'm going to go, but I just want to speak. So, Lord, I just pray for your guidance and revelation to open up. So, your mind, um, your soul actually, from a spiritual perspective, your soul consists of your mind, your will, and your emotions. And that kind of makes up our soul. Now, what happens is, is in the spirit and um, in God's throne, there's absolute truth. But what we experience down here in this fallen world and what we experience with our emotions um, and every, even like the different things that we go through in this life, it has an influence on how we think, how we feel, how we believe the world around us. Um, it is important for us to take on a higher perspective. That's why I do therapy. And as a therapist, I help people um, get perspective on their situation. I give them feedback. I give them insight. Um, and I also allow them to and help assist them organizing their emotions. Sometimes I help them even putting the label on the emotion. Oh, you're feeling angry right now. Oh, you're feeling upset right now. But once you kind of identify what you're feeling, then we have to check in. Where is that feeling coming from? Where is this thinking coming from? Um, where is it deeply rooted? Um, sometimes there's things that's happened in our childhood and in our background that has affected the way we experience and believe things today. So it's important. And we, we, we typically actually are creatures of habit. Um, and so we have a pattern to ourselves. We have a pattern of the way we respond to certain situations, to, um, people around us. We, um, have, we just have our quirks in this sense. Um, but there's always room for improvement in, in self-regulation, emotional regulation is a term. Um, and there's always improvement in how we communicate to others, to our partners, to those closest to us. Um, you know, just to mention, actually, I also do couples therapy too. And, um, even from my actually spiritual teacher, um, which is a confirmation of what I actually already engage in in therapy and what I help with is, here's the bottom line that actually is an um, issue with relationships. That, that has everything to do with like your partner, spouse, your mother, father, brother, sister, um, people you work with, whoever. This is it, ready? It's unrealistic expectations and this is actually applied to our relationship and expectation to god too so we as humans with um not a perfect sense of um understanding everything we, we e might even expect certain things out of god or we might get a false image and representation of who god is his personality jesus and the holy spirit but even, um, you know, on, in another step in your relationship with another human being, a lot of times we have an unrealistic expectation from them. And when they don't meet our expectation, we get upset, disappointed, frustrated, anxious, depressed, stressed, all sorts of things. And then we, and, and then we get even resentment and bitterness and toxic. And so to break those cycles, um, it is helpful to have a therapist. It is very helpful to have God in your life and to have a prayer life and to, um, uh, to get um, insight from a spiritual perspective. But also, um, we have to learn also how to communicate our feelings and our thoughts. And key thing, checking in with your feelings and your thoughts. Really checking in. Where is this coming from? Why am I feeling this? okay, I'm feeling this right now, but, you know, in time, I'm going to work on this, I'm going to work on that, I'm going to prioritize this, and 
I'm going to feel differently later. So, um, or like, you know, taking care of yourself, self-care, taking care of yourself. Even Jesus said, um, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So it is important to love yourself and to love your neighbor as that person is like yourself. So it's a scriptural too. You got to love yourself as well. And so even today, like I did therapy and my own therapy is I'm going to go get a massage. I have a great masseuse and I'm going to go play volleyball. So that's my therapy. And I have a consistent way of taking care of myself over time. This morning I was feeling a little off. Um, and that's okay. I just check in with myself. I still pray. Um, I still read the word of God. I do my, I, I help somebody else in therapy and I'll get, and like, and having a nice balance, balanced life is definitely key, which some, is something that most people have an issue in managing, finding balance. A lot of times people have a hard time just managing the chaos in their life. Um, and there's, everything is just so demanding and we become busybodies. But it's important for you to also take a break, to take care of yourself, to rest, to meditate. Um, and more importantly, meditate on the word of God. Like the word of God says, Jesus says, do not be anxious on anything. So I used to do Buddhist meditation and try and clear my mind and be conscious and mindful. But in actuality, it wasn't helpful. It didn't fill the void, first of all, that I was feeling. And second of all, because that void is, is, is only God can fill up that void. But um, in addition to that, um, when, what was I talking about? Oh, meditation. Meditating on the word of God so that it gets into your mind and it sinks into your heart. So in Romans 12, 2, it says, be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you would know the good, perfect, and acceptable will of God. So are you feeding your mind with bad news and with drama and even getting worked up with all your emotions and everything? Or do you feed yourself with encouragement, with truth, with the word of God? Are you taking a higher level of perspective taking? An insight it helps to get somebody else who has you know good insight who's level-headed like a therapist like me and um, you can get some feedback and a different perspective um, so I love perspective taking shifting your perspective kind of just like shifts your whole life your whole mentality and another quote I used to um, say and, and a professor actually stole it from me she's like hi right, can I take that from you I'm like sure but your mentality creates your reality the way you experience reality is by your mentality too and so like i said let your mentality be renewed by the word of god and so um so also continuing to trust in god so jesus says do not be anxious about anything because god cares about you god knows every hair that's on your head and he knows what you need um and he's going to provide because he's jehovah jireh our god who provides so I'll just leave that with you. I hope this was encouraging. I hope that somebody got something out of this. And I just want to bless you. God bless you. And peace be with you. I'll see you next time.